Hello, and welcome to our demonstration of our single sign-on solution. We're starting with this view of a student passport. So we'll just log in as a student. What we're showing here is that once a student logs in, you can see currently there's two pieces of content available uh, to this particular student, Discovery Education and Moodle. And now we'll switch over to the uh, administration portal and I'll log in so that I can show you just how easy it is to manage content and to provision content out to the student portals. Now you can see on the left hand side uh, there are several different types of uh, operations you can do and these can be reordered in any order that you would like them. But we'll start by showing you uh, user accounts because the first thing you need to do obviously is to be able to put students and teachers into the system and you'll notice there's no student or no teacher account currently. So now we'll move over to the data sources and this is how you'll actually put students in. Each student and teacher will get a unique and separate account for themselves and currently you can either upload a CSV file, uh, you can synchronize using an LDAP or Active Directory, or you can synchronize using Google. Soon you'll be able to synchronize using Office 365 and of course we can synchronize with any LMS or SIS system. First, let me upload a simple file. We'll use a CSV example, and I've put one student and one teacher into the system. So I've added the file, and I'll show you how easy it is to load that into the system. So you get a success message saying that the process is complete. So let's go back to user account now. And you can see, as I scroll down, you can see there's my iStudent account, and I call it iStudent, and an iTeacher account. So now let me take you to uh, the actual role matrix so I can show you how we'll provision this, uh, the different types of content. You can see on this screen for the admin there's currently four roles set up, but you can set up as many as you like. So you can have a superintendent, a principal, uh, the teachers, the students, etc. Uh, we currently have staff, teacher, student, and a test. Across the top you see the different types of content that's available to this particular school. Um, and as they purchase more content, it will just be added to the right. So to provision accounts, it's as easy as double clicking on the, um, on the title and changing it from a no to a yes. So I'll just do that on uh, some of this content so you can see how easy it loads into the passport. Let's do a couple of more. Let's do, uh, let's see, let's add uh, World Book and ETAP. Okay. So now that from an administration standpoint, I've set it up to go, but because this is cloud based, I now need to provision those uh, or push that content out to the devices. So we'll start the provision process. And one of the beauties of the system is because it's cloud-based, it takes minimal bandwidth, which allows for easy management of the content. When a content provider updates our content, uh, obviously it gets pushed up to the cloud. And then the very next instance, when the student or teacher signs back into the system, it's pushed down to their particular device. Okay, it's that easy, it's done. You can see the message saying operation is complete. So now let's go back and take a look at that student passport. And again, you can see because there's two pieces of content in there, the student has not signed out yet. So let's sign out. And then I'll sign back in. And all of the content that we just provisioned will magically appear in the student passport. So now the student has access to, to all of this content. And they are, because they've signed in, they're currently signed in to all of this content at the same time. So let's just demonstrate a couple of, um, a couple items.
Let's click on Tumble Books. I'm using Windows 8 and that's why you see these pop-up boxes. So you can see they're already into right into the Tumble Book content. Let's do another one. Let's do uh, ETAP. Just a second and as you can see we're logged into the ETAP content. Let's do one more. Let's do Flink Learning. And as you can see, we're logged into Flink Learning. Okay, so now let me show you uh, another unique feature. Let's, uh, let's go to Moodle. And what you'll find is we have the ability to embed the passport into any portal. So it could be, uh, again, branded as a school passport. It could be branded as an OEM passport or Stella's R passport. So in this case, you see all the Moodle content on the left-hand side uh, where the student can be active using it. You see the right-hand side, the content that is actually listed in our passport that I provisioned. So now imagine the teacher's working and tells Johnny that from this content, Johnny, go over to World Book. So Johnny clicks on World Book and launches directly into the World Book product. So if you think about the complexities behind the scene of making this happen, we just launched from the middle of somebody's product into somebody else's product uh, without entering any passwords because, again, with the single sign-on solution, it's already done. It's absolutely amazing. Very complex on the back end, seamless on the, on the, seamless on the front end for teachers, uh, and very easy to use. So let's go back now to the um, administration portal. Let me show you a couple of other, fe other features. One is the organizational setup, how easy it is to set up your hierarchy of what you'd like. So you could have a superintendent, you could have a high school, then you'd have each class in a high school, science class, math, math class, etc., the teachers and the students. Very easy to set up. Let's take a quick look at reports. So for the sake of this demo, we have a very simple report for single sign-on statistics, but you, we can make any report uh, as complex as the student, uh, I mean, as the teacher or the school district would like. So in this case, let's just select um, single sign-on statistics, and I'll show you how easy it is. You just simply select location, and then you select um, the roles that you would like. So let's just select student, uh, admin, and uh, teacher. And then one more screen. And that is, we have to pick the applications we want to look at. So let's look at, uh, let's see, let's do Moodle, let's do Tumble Books, um, let's add World Book, Eat, uh, uh, let's see, Lightning Grader. Okay, now the last thing, uh, we simply need to change the date and find, you know, for whatever date range that we are looking at. Now let's type in uh, May 1st to June 13th. Uh, let's run a uh, quick report. And again, this is just a very simple chart, but you can see uh, the number of sign-ins. So this is, you know, 51 in the Moodle, 49 in the Tumble Books, 24, etc. in the Lightning Grader. And then again, you can see the graph. So. We can make this, again, one, as complex as the school would like. So if they would like to know how many times did the student sign on, what time did they sign on, how long were they on, what did they sign into, etc., we can, we can easily put those reports together with, so that the teacher will have a, a click of a button and have access to that report. So now let's kind of reverse the process. Uh, in this mobile society, you have students leaving the school, you have teachers leaving the school. So let's see how easy it is to remove them from the system. So uh, we simply will start uh, and just remove first the student. Just simply click delete, which is in the center of the page. And you'll notice the student's now gone. Uh, next, we'll delete the teacher. Simple click on him and click delete and the teacher's gone. So the other thing we'd like to do now is let's go back to, again, reversing the process, back to the role matrix and let's change the content that we provisioned out to that student passport. Let's 
change it back to nose. So let's flink learning. Let's do lightning greater. Let's do tumble books. As you can see, it's a very easy process. Let's do world book and let's pull ETAP out. Okay, so now the last thing we need to do is just remember we have to provision it to, the, to push it out, or in this case, we're going to go back through the cloud and pull it out of the system. So if we done, it's that quick. So now let's go back and make sure that it left the suit and passport. As you can see, it's still there because the student hasn't signed out. So we'll sign the student out. And now let's sign back in. And you'll see here we are back at the original content where we were with two pieces, Discovery and Moodle. So that's it. It's that simple. It's seamless to the teacher and the ease of use is amazing. So I would like to take this time to thank you for watching this demonstration. And if you have any questions, you may contact us. Uh, we're happy to answer questions and help you in any way we can. So thanks for watching this demo. Have a great day. Thank mm -hmm. you.